in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Jeremiah chapter 32 and verse 17. Here's what the Bible says. Ah, Lord God. It says, Behold, thou hast made the heavens and the earth. It says, By thy great power. Are we still together? It says, And stretch out arm, and there is nothing too hard for you to do. This is Prophet Jeremiah speaking. You have made the heavens and the earth by thy great power. Scripture number two is found in Psalm 62 and verse 11. Very popular scripture. May I please request that we read it in concert. Ready? Read. God had spoken once. Uh -huh. Twice have I heard this, that power belongeth unto God. Once have I spoken, twice have you heard that power in its entirety belongs to God. Now, there's no time to begin to discuss where witchcraft and sorcery and all other occultic practices derive their power. But I want you to know that if it ever produces any result, it is because that power came from God. Remember, what comes from God can be perverted. Are we together now? Yes. In administering power on earth, there are three levels of power. The highest level of power that comes from God comes through encounters the second level of power is invested in principles and laws and that one does not depend on relationship you don't need to have a relationship with God to access that dimension of power for instance the power that is invested in the law of seed time and harvest you don't even have to be saved even if you are a terrorist even if you are an occultist if you farm it will grow it is still the power of God but that dimension of power does not depend on intimacy and relationship that power depends on understanding this is the dimension of power that people across the world who do not acknowledge the God of heaven still use are we together they use that dimension of power embedded in laws and principles to build businesses to build conglomerates they use it to advance their civilization because there is a dimension of God's power that is invested in laws and principles. Hallelujah. Are we still together? So the Bible says that all power belongs to the Lord. Let's consider the last scripture just to prove that God is almighty. Deuteronomy chapter 26. We'll read three verses 6 to 9. Deuteronomy chapter 26, please. From verse 6 to 9. Deuteronomy 26 from verse 6 to 9 I'll read when the media is ready for us the Bible says and the Egyptians and the Egyptians evil entreated us and afflicted us and laid upon us hard bondage verse 7 and when we cried unto the Lord God of our fathers the Lord heard our voices and looked on our affliction and our labor and our oppression verse 8 now and the Lord brought us forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand and with an outstretched arm and with great terribleness and with signs and with wonders verse 9 it says and he had brought us into this place and had given us this land even a land that flowed with milk and honey may that be someone's testimony this is a very powerful attribute of God that by his outstretched arm 
an expression of his power he can bring men out of certain situations into certain favorable situations he can take a man out of poverty into a life of blessings he can take a man out of a life of defeat and mediocrity into a life of honor and victory you believe that say amen, amen. so god is all powerful this is a revelation that I'm praying that in the course of this conference will become a reality in our lives because there are certain things you will never fear again when you truly have a revelation of the might of God. You see, the way Satan works is that because he, the Bible calls him the God of the systems, this Babylonian system that rules our world and he knows that the fallen man depends on the impulses of the senses so Satan will use situations and circumstances and with them he will downplay and and demean the power of God so that in light of what obviously plagues you it will look like God is just a little mightier than him but I announce to you in the name of Jesus that this God that we serve is not just the creator of the ends of the earth he sits upon a throne that is made of righteousness and justice the bible takes time to meticulously describe the might and the majesty of this god on earth we have kings on earth we have nobles on earth we have people who have attained onto a level of might perhaps military might Many of us may be connected to, related to, or associated with generals in the army. And when you see a general walks in, in the capacity of his office, he comes with the full backing of everyone and everything. And perhaps like the president or other nations of the world have had an opportunity to see, you know, the army in motion with their, within their capacity as the army and it's a spectacular sight to behold hallelujah we see kings move and their entourage sometimes they have to block you annoyingly for hours minutes perhaps you have to wait patiently to honor them i don't know how it happens here but in the north if an emir is passing really passing in his capacity you are going to have to wait doesn't matter who you are hallelujah and so i've seen kings i've seen men on earth there are people who are captains of industry and every time we hold say very big occasions there are there are, there are systems to recognize them because of the kind of intellectual might are we together now financial might and so on and so forth that already gives us a picture so now you imagine the creator of the ends of the earth was never involved in any man's election nobody voted him into power no man's annoyance or joy will change what happens around his throne there are 20 and 4 elders that bow and worship him and he says if you will not praise me it is still within my power to raise up stones a God that does not die cannot be sick cannot be weak does not need a relative does not need psychological support hallelujah that even if the heavens and the earth passes away you see that now the heavens and the earth can pass away and go places and he still remains god not threatened by any man's pride the bible is full of kings that attempted to threaten the might of god in their arrogance and he brought them to their knees even converting some to animals yet leaving them with the brains of humans for seven years so that they will learn that there is a god that sits upon the circles of the earth do i talk of pharaoh do i talk of darius nebuchadnezzar do i talk of herod who fell and worms at him immediately there was no time for him to go through the natural course of decay god is almighty god is almighty i'm not saying it to you i'm saying it to what has made you cry god is almighty you've heard it again and again but i'm speaking to your situation i'm speaking to the spirit that has vowed to not let your family go i'm speaking to the altars that have claimed invincibility making it look like no one can rise from this family listen 
provided the lion has not roared any other animal can make it look like i am the king of the jungle but not when the lion roars hallelujah this is a very simple but profound revelation what sponsors your audacity to know that your children will be great to know that your destiny will not be thwarted regardless what happened before you it is certainly not going to be by your wisdom for that is limited it is certainly not going to be the assurance of men because the best of us will still disappoint you you need to resort to the god that is almighty there are people who are sincere but they are not mighty enough i hope you know that integrity is different from might integrity means the capacity to be truthful and to be faithful if it can be backed up with the financial wherewithal for instance i can decide to help you with all my heart but i may be limited in terms of finance or whatever it is god is not only a god of integrity he's a god of ability the bible says now unto him who is able to do please say able to do able to do means able to give you a child able to do means able to turn your son that seems to be running around and bringing you pain did he not turn Saul to Paul what is it that this God cannot do I don't know which one you have been worshiping but my God is all powerful my God is all powerful all powerful means he's the lifter of men all powerful means he can rewrite stories all powerful means while they laugh at you he is able to turn that proverb called Ichabod bring your life to become a praise to the nations listen the Bible is an attestation is is a compendium of the wonder working power of God you see the true test of power is when it's been tested over a long time using different scenarios if you have not tested power long enough you cannot say it is absolute power watch the power of God in front of the Red Sea watch the power of God in front of a 90 feet stature wanting to throw people down in fire watch the power of God as he brought deliverance in the nation of Israel to the point that they sang the songs of Miriam I will uh, he said I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horses and his rider has been thrown into the sea this is the God that we serve what is this teaching doing to you already because you see we live in a world where we interact with too many things that seem to downplay the power of God and because he resides in a realm that is invisible they usually say out of sight is out of mind so we get used to troubles we get used to the pride of godless men and sometimes we even buy into their false confidence is God really powerful with my son behaving like this is God really powerful with my business crashing since after COVID is God really powerful my marriage is about to tear apart because my husband is frustrated listen let me introduce to you another dimension of God God does not have outsourced power it's not that someone gave him power and is supervising his use of it no absolute power you see the Bible says that when a man ministers are we still together that when a man ministers the Bible mandates that you minister according to the measure of grace in other words it is seen for you to make propositions that are higher than the level of grace at work in your life and this is a law in the spirit that before men speak they verify whether they have the power to make good what they say so before God will utter a statement his power must be able to vet that that statement is within the circumference of his power to make good everything he has said here there is a dimension of power that sponsors it hmm. the God of heaven so is it true that when he says you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth he says and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you there is a dimension of his power that insists that that word does not become a lie that he says you are the head and not the tail what is your idea of that statement the head does not just mean first position in school you've left school for decades he certainly was not talking to students the head means the head the head means above and not beneath if you believe this say amen yeah. hmm. 
Psalm 112, blessed is the man that feared the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. The Bible says, his seed shall be mighty upon earth. It says, the generation of the upright shall be blessed, that wealth and riches shall be in his house, and yet his righteousness endures forever. It's important for you to know that in this Bible, many people spoke, demons spoke in this Bible satan himself spoke in this bible are we together men in their pride and arrogance spoke in this bible men in their backslidden state spoke in this bible men at the point of repentance spoke in this bible the almighty god spoke in this bible angels and archangels spoke in this bible so when you read it it's important to know who is speaking but when you do find the words that came from the lips of his majesty by all means please believe him please believe him he has the power once have i spoken twice have you heard that all power when jesus resurrected as god incarnate here's what he had to say all authority is the word exousia all authority in heaven and on earth has been given unto me he says go ye therefore that means before you start taking steps have that understanding that even in Lagos, I still belong to the all-powerful God. Even in Nigeria, even in Africa with the, the supposedly failing economy. Did the Bible not say when men say there is a casting down? That for you there will be a lifting up. The basis of your confidence is the one who stands behind you as a mighty terrible one. Listen, when that all-powerful God decides to invest his jealousy upon you, woe betides the man who stands his way yes sir you know in our world today God means many things for someone God means a river somewhere is that true for someone God means a bow and arrow somewhere that some ancestor used to win in war and is being worshipped for someone god means some kind of philosophy for someone god means some kind of alien deity somewhere so when we say god our society has sadly demeaned the idea of god god just means some deity that is not human or not pure human but this is not what we're talking about we're talking about the god of heaven the creator of the hands of the earth here's how the bible puts it has thou not known has thou not heard the everlasting god the lord the creator of the ends of the earth look at the descriptions the creator of the ends of the earth when you have this revelation you will stand with confidence regardless what tries to bully you in life and that all you need to do in the face of situations and circumstances is to find a way of bringing that might and that power of God to collide with the situation that mocks you and then you will watch what happened to the Red Sea happening to that situation my goal tonight is to number one help you sell a new idea about God but number two to show you something further to help you to know how to be able to draw that limitless abundant might of God because you see provided that might resides with him in his throne it do it does you no good there has to be a system of transporting it from his throne to where your situation needs that power to be made manifest you believe this shout a loud amen God is all-powerful my bank account hear this god is all powerful the 10 years of no job hear this god is all powerful ah the sentiments roaming around my office and the rumors that i've been hearing that i'll be downsized god is all powerful are we together 
dear pastor i know that since after covid it looks like ministry has been shaking and has been epileptic but god is all powerful you need to preach to yourself you need to be a prophet of your destiny to go back home stand before the mirror even if it's the mirror of your bathroom just close it there be alone and preach to yourself and say satan every lie you have spoken to my ears on account of the things that have happened the bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal it says but they are mighty through god to the pulling down of strongholds is that in your bible casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of christ he says bringing every thought regardless what it is to the obedience of christ bringing every thought the thought of death what's this pain around my leg and the devil says cancer like father like son uh -uh. that is the time to say well i sympathize with those who may have gone before me but in the name of jesus i declare that i will rewrite my own reality i will rewrite my own possibility hallelujah oh it's like that for everyone who comes from your village my bible says we have been called out of every tribe every tongue and every nation in the name of jesus christ Nathaniel looks and hears about Jesus and says, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Jesus was not sad at him because he was right based on his perspective. You know what happened to Nazarenes? They had a track record that they did not have longevity of impact. An example of such a Nazarene was Samson. The guy came up, showed up and Delilah brought him down. So when they heard that there was another superstar Nazarene, Nathaniel said, don't waste your energy. He will not last. They have a track record that they lack longevity of impact hmm. could it be that someone has concluded the last person who rose from this family you all saw him he flew around the world and died as if and that lie bringing every thought to the obedience of christ bringing every thought to the obedience of christ Bring in every thought. It's your responsibility. Bring in every thought. Because I serve the mighty God who is all powerful. So this is my first message to you tonight. God is all powerful. If this is all you have and you walk out of this beautiful church knowing that God is all powerful, you will bully every darkness out of your life. Knowing that God is all powerful all powerful and by the way let god be true and every man that includes every situation a liar are we together number two god desires you may write god desires for his power and his glory to be revealed in the lives of his people this is the second point i want you to know tonight that it is not enough to know that god is all powerful but that the second point is he desires god desires for his power and his glory to be revealed in the lives of his people that means just acknowledging that he's all powerful does not do much he's not glorified just by acknowledging he's all powerful that he wants that there be a spectacular display of that power of that glory in the midst of his people god desires for his power and his glory to be revealed in the lives of his people i believe this with all my heart psalms 107 verse 21 psalms 107 please verse 21 here's what the bible says can we read together it's projected ready one to read all oh, that men would praise the lord uh-huh for his goodness and for his wonderful works to who not his wonderful works that resides within the heavens and the throne room his wonderful works that has been made manifest to the children of men that every time his power is revealed in the world of men it will cause praise to arise from the earth even to the heavens oh that men would praise the lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works his wonderful healing his wonderful restoration his wonderful manifestations of open doors favor and everything that god is able to do 
Zephaniah chapter 3 and 17. Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 17. God desires for his power and his glory to be revealed in your home, revealed in your business, revealed in the life of your children, revealed in your career, whatever endeavor. It says, the Lord thy God in the midst of thee. The Lord thy God who has come to be made manifest in the midst of thee. The Bible says he is mighty. Then it says he will save and he will rejoice over thee with joy. And he will rest in his love and he will joy over thee with singing. The Lord in the midst of thee is mighty. Please you believe it that God desires. You are not the only one who desires to see the power of God. God himself desires to see his power. He says, oh Lord my God. Is, that was the lamentation, the cry of the psalmist, the desire of the psalmist really. He says, early will I seek you. My soul longs for you. Is that in your Bible? He says, in a dry and a weary land where there is no water. He says, to see your power and your glory revealed in my life as I have seen in the sanctuary. So God desires that his wonder working power be revealed in the midst of his people. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm speaking over someone here that there are things you would not need to tell people again. The results that will happen as a result of the manifestation of God's power will do the speaking from today in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, is it in your Bible? It says, we were like them that dream, and our mouths were filled with laughter. Then it says, they said among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for them. It says, the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Then it says, with that same mighty power, turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev or the streams of the South. Turn again our captivity turn again our captivity turn again our captivity that shame and that reproach by the privilege of God's grace and on account of the call upon my life and what I do I have watched the power of God from nation to nation city to city family to family and you would think that after many years of watching this I should get used to it I tell you for every manifestation of God's power I stand in awe myself as though I had never seen him move this is God for you there is no getting exhausted with the manifestation of his power the variety of the move of god you will never get bored watching the mighty god in action mm -mm. Mm -mm. from the woman trusting god for a child who may have been mocked and then out of nowhere triplets just show up and you don't know if to call them children or miracles you believe that how about a family that at the start of the year is hoping to complete their rent but at the end of that year own an estate not a house how do you explain that i'm not talking of people cutting corners and fraud i'm talking of men lifted by god with the dignity of kingdom integrity if you do not believe god can go that far satan will cheat you there is an advantage we have in this kingdom we have secured by his love and jealousy the backing of the creator of the ends of the earth if he created the heavens and the earth what can he not create you know what it means to create to make manifest using invisible raw materials he desires for his power to be revealed in my life he desires that your life becomes a living epistle the apostle says that means that when men look at you here's how the bible puts it i am i am a strong advocate of results john 15 and verse 8 it says herein is my father glorified do you believe that when ye bear much fruit it says so shall you be my disciples in other words your result gives credence to my mentorship they show that i taught you they show that you have learned the ways of god 
is like a coach who would have invested in training an athlete or a football team or you know some kind of um whatever it is the joy of that coach is to watch his team you know manifest flawlessly and effortlessly and you see the smile of confidence as they keep adding goal after goal and it gets bad when it's now 5-0 for instance in the case of football he feels sorry for the other team for daring his team and did you know that after that it increases their value and their perception is that true yes so god is glorified when the saints excel and that is the reason why it is within his power and it gives him joy to coordinate all of the heavenly resources that need to be put together to see that his people excel and to see his power revealed in their lives here's how the bible puts it second corinthians 9 and verse 8 very interesting scripture it says and god is able to make all grace abound towards you the bible says so that ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work may abound to every good work hallelujah john 15 and verse 16 i'd like us to please read it together and to read it with conviction where we have when we have it on the screen john 15 16 he says i ready want to read please ye have not chosen me he says but i have chosen you uh-huh and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain and on account of this whatsoever ye shall ask the father in my name he may give it you he desires that you produce fruit he desires that you produce fruit jesus mentoring the disciples in what we call the beatitudes matthew 5 beginning from verse 13 he says you are the salt of the earth but that if the salt the salt has lost its saltiness he says wherewith shall it be made salty again it is of no good but to be thrown down and to be trodden under foot of men and then he says you are the light of the world he likens you to a city that is set on a hill the bible says which cannot be hidden neither do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel is that true but that they put it on a lampstand or a candlestick and it will give light to all that are in the room verse 16 now says let your light so shine the word let means permit allow do not stop it let your light your result the outworking of the power of God through your life let it so shine before men he wants them to see it and he says that they may glorify your father which is in heaven God desires to be glorified and the only way that God is glorified is when the saints are glorified John 17 and verse 1 the Bible says Jesus lifted up his eyes to the heavens and here's what he said father the hour is come he said glorify thy son that thy son may glorify thee glorify thy son glorify your businessman glorify this mother glorify this exceptional woman glorify her that she may bring glory to you in the name of jesus christ every life here that has been mad and laced with shame and reproach that your life has become a discussion that can occupy people for hours talking about what is not happening i stand by the god of heaven foundations of sapphire in the name of jesus the mighty god i declare that that shame and reproach will roll like smoke before the wind in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ listen whilst you are seated please in the name of Jesus Christ I want you to believe and to be ready to shake everything that is not of Christ anything you tolerate is authorized to remain in your life but the day you get angry there is holy anger you can get dissatisfied and say this ends now even though it is 25 years old it ends now this mockery ends now this reproach ends now ends now the bible talks about a man called naaman that this man was a valiant man he was a captain of the syrian army and the bible attests to the fact that he was a valiant man in war he says but he was leprous that issue of leprosy would not go one time he received an advice from a slave girl that they brought 
who advised him and said oh that you would meet a prophet i know that this prophet is able to touch you and he went wrote a letter to the king and to cut the long story short elisha gives him an instruction and he goes to wash in jordan and after seven times the bible says his skin became like that of a little girl did you know that naaman would have died without receiving his healing and he would have said it is the will of god i can tell you there are many things that are not the will of god but satan's authorization is because you are not yet angry enough hmm. you are not yet angry enough god desires that his power be revealed in my life god desires that his power be revealed even among the foundations of sapphire that by next year if christ tarries and they come you you will wonder who will testify and who will not because it will be an abundance of the manifestation of the hand of god increases on all sides passion for god like never before people who escape terminal diseases like smoke before the wind hallelujah so number one god is almighty almighty all powerful number two he desires his power to be revealed in your life hallelujah number three this is the apex of our discussion tonight and please may i request that you write and then pay attention god's wonder working power i wrote here is made manifest when we call upon him god's wonder working power i'm glad this is a prayer conference that as wonderful as god is god's wonder working power is made manifest when we call upon him God's wonder working power is not made manifest when we need it. It is made manifest when we call upon him. Now, this is as simple as this point is. It is why many believers may remain disappointed in spite of every truth that we have learned. You see, one thing with the truth is the Bible says, and you shall know the truth and if it is truth you have found there must be the corresponding liberty that means whatever you find that claims to be the truth and cannot administer liberty is not the truth hallelujah let me repeat it again for emphasis god's wonder working power is made manifest when we call on him watch this jesus is passing jericho and theologically speaking that would be the last time jesus is patching jericho and then a man who was born blind is that in your bible that man sat there and jesus was passing as if he did not see him and the man began to shout thou son of david have mercy on me and the people there said keep quiet don't distract jesus there are serious things for him to do he says i i use my will to make my matter serious the bible says he shouted the more thou son of david have mercy on me and when that happened jesus hushed and said what should i do for you Can, that would look like sarcasm i mean what would a blind man want it would be a costly assumption to assume that a blind man would want his eyes open because in Acts chapter 3 the crippled man at gate beautiful did not want healing he wanted money is that true yes the Bible says he sat there begging for arms an ugly situation sitting at a beautiful gate and he was asking for arms and then Peter looked at him and said no you need more than arms he said silver and gold I do not have but such as I have give I unto you he says in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth rise up and walk the man was disappointed read your Bible he, he sat down there he didn't stand up it was Peter who reached his hand and lifted him and the Bible says the man leaping stood hallelujah are we together this is a very very powerful point because there are many believers who do not know that the wonder-working power of God 
is made manifest when we call upon him so there are a lot of complaints and lamentations and assumptions god is it that you are watching me like this you are not going to do anything this is how you watch me i assure you while i sympathize with that lamentation by the integrity of scripture nothing will happen or another consolation we have in our world one day go better oh no the assignment of time is not to change things the assignment of time is to reveal it takes decisions decisions that are intrinsically made or outsourced you have to be able to stamp your feet and say this is the moment hallelujah like someone who has come tonight you can say this is the moment that demonic sickness must leave my body being fine today and down next week i reject it and by the way may i respectfully advise never receive old age as a license for sickness never receive old age as a license for bodily degeneration it is not in the bible hallelujah whilst it is true that based on our natural law as we age of course you may not have the strength and the vitality of a baby but it is important to know that you can enjoy the requisite level of vitality required to serve the purposes of god until your time is over never receive that if you have received this as an orientation now i respect doctors i respect medical people thank god for your contribution but i'm talking to you based on the integrity of scripture here's what the bible says that they that be planted in the house of the lord shall flourish in the courts of our god are we bible students it says in old age they shall be fat and flourishing there are many trees there are many trees on earth that are older than humans and those trees don't plan to go anywhere you see them flourish and refuse to die hallelujah aware that they might be drought they still refuse to die they made sure that their roots went down down enough and here's what the bible says he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water you know what that means you don't have to wait for seasons again a tree that is not planted by water will have to wait for rainy season but a tree that is planted by the streams of water it is only its fruits that it brings in season not its survival hallelujah the wonder working power of god is made manifest when we call upon him let's look at a few scriptures jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3 hallelujah jeremiah 33 and verse 3 call unto me the mighty one is saying and i will answer thee and i will show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not call unto me he says and i will answer you that means when there is no call there will not be any response call and i will respond call and i will respond call concerning the health situation i will respond call concerning the job situation i will respond psalms 145 and verse 18 psalms 145 and verse 18 i love the bible the lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him did you see the word all there he's nigh not to men of god that call upon him he's nigh not to preachers not to apostles not to prophets he is nigh unto all all them that call upon him all them that call upon him and he says to all that call upon him in truth that means there are people who call upon him but don't mean it they are just saying it so that it will look like they are not idol worshippers but they don't intend to see him manifest jesus where are you jesus come and he says no you are playing games you are not serious it is clear from your hearts that you have other alternatives but there are people who call upon him in truth have mercy upon me thou son of david i have no other god some may trust in horses and chariots i do not even have that luxury there is no horse and there's no chariot anywhere if you do not help me say unto thee O god do i lift up my soul it says oh my god let me not be ashamed is that in your bible it says let not my enemies triumph over me there is a way you can call upon him in truth 
call upon him in truth. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.